got another rare car. It's not bad. And it's a stick. Let me see that motherfucker. Y'all, y'all see all the claws and shit. Two, <laughs> two motherfucking shit. Yeah, you can't, you can't be looking Tabby, at Tabby, I know what skirt. to do. This car for uh, 20 years and had my first accident in this car last year. I fucked up the front, and that's why that I shit still sticking. look good. Yeah, got that bitch hypertech tune, tune, got yeah. a little hot, hot cam tune in it, headers, everything. Did you know that was e me e coming up the street? Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> I knew it when I seen him white, I was like, Yeah, it gotta be him. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, I, you ain't gonna see too many of these motherfuckers. You got in there, man. If you see one at all. That's a little sorry. Yeah, I got, I'm got. i trying to get some. That's a little sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch is good. I'm gonna sneak out because I just got 10 on my windows. I won't let me let the windows down. Right, that's a little sorry. They said I'm gonna wait a week. You can let you that boy down. Week. For what? Oh, yeah, 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 you got to. Because it got a cure. That glue got a cure. You will peel that shit right. Yeah, wait. Don't do it, bro. Super clean. Yeah, that motherfucker's so clean. Interior. T tops, notch back, with tune, port, injection, the original wheels. Yeah, I'm keeping it's it been so, all Yeah, this. yeah, you ain't gotta it's do nothing to this. Guts. When this when this came off when this came off the showroom floor, show stopper, period. And this how you know it's a true eighty eight notch back? The real the real deal. One of six hundred and twenty four like and I got two of them. Look at the van right there. We ain't gonna show y'all all that, but it's it's right. there. Look it's at the van right there. It's a real one. So y'all know. If y'all even know what this is. Cause y'all probably ain't seen nothing like that. Right. Do y'all homework, homework. This bitch right here pulling out. This bitch right here pulling out. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, all day. And sure it is, that's the elbow that I gotta put back in it, see? And then I put my other little holes on it so it flow more freely. Okay, yeah. that little elbow right there. Yeah, yeah I see it. The carpet, oh, copper piece. Okay, I get it. And then let this be sick because I got to pick my daughter up at 9 o'clock. Yeah. Let this be sick, cool down, so I can take that off. I still love this motherfucker, boy. Yes, sir. Super, super bad boy. <laughs> this motherfucker get busy, too. I see this playing no game. <laughs> this is tight, huh? We got that, uh, we're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Got to drive the bitch, too. Fuck yeah. He okay. coming around. He ain't playing no game. That bitch so, so fucking fast. This nigga rode off into the sunset like a cowboy movie. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that pipe, he said he gotta get that done. He gotta get that watcher quality done. Look, man, he a, yeah, he a cowboy, man. He do all that yee high and this shit. Yeah, I should've got a stick. Man, dog. Just a stick. Man, yeah, it's, you just you go stupid. Yeah, yeah, you can go stupid. You jump to whatever gear makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> this boy smashed the vet and bought the other one. Brought the other race car out. <clears throat> that boy's so stupid fast. Yeah, we got the Batmobile out here. Yeah, can't let no words down. Yeah, what? The, the, the top comes down. I can't let the top down. Yeah, the tenant. Oh, yeah, you got to put your watch collars down when so you do you the thing. So you hit the top, the window, the go, window down. go down. The window go down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tin man got you on some bullshit. <laughs> 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 I'm right back. Yeah. Well, not right back. Okay. No, no, do your <laughs> thing, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. All right. I got you. We got to go out there, so. Man, whatever. Yeah, baby. We're in the dollar show. We lit. Pulling them out. 
pay replace, baby. It's dinner time. Time to eat. Let's see if you get loose. You got the horses up under there. Good sunset. Welcome to the Dollar Show, y'all. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Just had to get a couple shots of the whips, man. Let it dance a little bit. Warm outside today, so, you know, people get into it. I've been working all damn day, so I'm tired, y'all. Like, my bones aching. Uh, <laughs> need to take me something for this pain. For y'all that don't know, I had a heart transplant. Uh, before that, I was battery operated, had an LVAD. So, my body been through a lot. I'm literally the million dollar man, multi million dollar man. My first surgery was like 500,000. This surgery was a million dollars, and ain't no telling how, how, how many, uh, <laughs> other bills it is but yeah man so I gotta live this is life after transplant this for me and my donor so all I'm here to do is tell people they can do it through do it too I pushed all the way through everything man I want to give a shout out to the queen what's up baby I'll be home soon the arrow coop is in the trans shop just got a couple more stops and that's it but trying to get this show on the road birthday coming up i want to ride my stuff too i want to let my doulas us slow too you dig i want to get in my shit and do a bust a couple of corners with the posi rear end and all that good stuff but i appreciate y'all man for joining in man tapping in if you're watching this like comment subscribe i need to get my subscribers up so I can get more content and stuff out here. I appreciate it. Yeah, man, this life after transplant, so I'm doing this for me and my donor. I got uh, a bunch of different stuff coming from car shows to music. Tomorrow they just took the, the mask off. Everybody get to wear their mask. Don't have to wear the mask if you got the, uh, the COVID vaccine and stuff. <laughs> That's crazy. Or the show it. Hey, let me not talk about that. Don't want to get demonetized, but it's a good thing. We're going to say that it's a good thing that everybody don't have to wear one and no business or no establishment or anything like that. So, shout out to the people that's doing good. Health is wealth. Please take care of yourself, people. You know, you only get one you. You can, you can have a lot of things, but you only get one body. You get one you. So take care of yourself. Drink a lot of water. You know, eat through some fruit. Eat some greens in your system. And make sure you take your vitamins and stuff, even if it's just a daily one-a-day vitamin. For my older people, check your blood pressure. For my young people, don't raise the old people blood pressure. You dig? <laughs> We got to help each other out, man. All my brothers and stuff out here, whatever you're doing, try to uplift your brother, man. If you got the bag, show them how to get one. Sisters six stick together. Us brothers got to stick together, you know. That's what it's about. It's time. We in hard times and stuff right now, dealing with all this stuff that's going on with the, uh, you know, the pandemic. But we sitting up here still thriving. Can't keep us down for nothing. We got to keep pushing and keep going. Hustle and motivate. Got to keep things pushing, man. That's what it's all about. Long as you don't stop and you keep going, you're on the right track. Never give up. That's my motto. Keep it going. Speak it into existence. Oh, yeah, I'm very wealthy. I'm very healthy and very wealthy. And so are those that surround me. You know, my wife, my child, my brothers, 
everybody, my sisters. Yo, I want everybody to, to have an abundance of wealth. Not rich, wealthy. And that's what the goal is. So we can give back for generations to come. So however you get it, get it. You know, use your job as a stepping stone, you know, and don't get caught up in no job. You ain't got to be arguing with people or doing nothing that you don't want to do. Stack your funds, invest into something else that you like, that you want to do, whatever your passion is, and get to it. Because you, your dreams is only going to be accomplished by you. So you got to start somewhere. It don't matter. Just start and keep working at it day by day. Take some time out and, you know, f focus on your craft and stuff. You know, don't give all don't give all your time to the job where you're so tired, where you get home, you just got to go to sleep and wake up and get back up. Have some free time for yourself. Take it easy. Get a massage or something if you need to. You know, take a break. If you drink, whatever you do, you know, get you some relaxation time. But remember to stay focused on your goals. You know, working for somebody else is just making somebody else rich. They sitting back, chilling, and they'll pay other people to not come in. So they don't have to do it. They can be on vacation or doing something else, getting that money. But with the technology and everything they got now, like this thing right here I'm talking on, you can make some moves. You can do something. It's, it's all kind of computer games and uh, different type of tech companies and stuff opening up every day. You know, Silicon Valley. It's the new billionaire stuff. Somebody got that loud piece of, piece of crap. But, you know, I like the D. See, old school. Old school lack rolling. And he playing that stuff. That's one thing I like about here. People do play music. That old school stuff. You know, something that you can roll to. We got jig music. So it's a lot of different uh, things we have here. We got a strong culture. You know, rap finally taking off of what, what it's supposed to be. We got a few people doing their thing. Salute to everybody that's doing their thing in the music business here out of Detroit. And uh, making noise for us. You know, we on the map. We've been on the map. We always been Motown, and we always been the Motor City. So one thing we we know how to do is make hit records and make them cars. So remember where y'all get them from. Salute a player when you see him. Salute salute a, uh, a player that work at one of those companies at, at Ford, Chrysler, or GM, whatever you rolling in. Somebody working right now, probably on a 12-hour shift trying to get whatever car you trying to buy to you. So when you see somebody, somebody in the union, one of the union reps that keep people their jobs when people get to tripping so they don't lose their job so they can feed their family, salute them. You know, workers are needed right now. It's a shortage on everything. Uh, tow truck drivers, it's a shortage on uh, semi drivers, I've been ordering parts and stuff. Shout out to Amazon. Hope I can get a deal with them. That'll be good. Need some sponsorships. Anybody want to sponsor something, I'll shout you out. I don't care. Whatever you get, I'll shout you out. If you got something and you're trying to promote and you're too legit to quit with it, I'll promote your stuff, man. I, I, ain't, I ain't one of them dudes where I just got to be paid every time or you gotta, I got to try to break somebody to help somebody out. No. Nah. Because I appreciate anybody that posts my stuff. Or they say, you shout my brand out or whatever, you know. That's what it's all about. So, loved ones, we got to take care of each other, man. Because ain't nobody else going to do it. We are trying to take care of ourselves. We are trying to live through 
the day-to-day -day hassles and whatever pain that you got going on and turn that into happiness. So look out for each other. Oh, big deuce. Got a big deuce in the court. Right? But yeah, man. Call your people. Check on your people. You ain't talk to nobody. Just call them and say, hey, what's up? You know, just check on them and see how they're doing. They might need to hear that call. They might be going through something that day. Little boys, they on the uh, little mini bikes. But yeah, call and check on your people. Call and check on your loved ones. Especially now and what in the time what's going on. Call them. Say, how you doing? Say something to put a smile on their face. You know? Everybody want to hear from a loved one. You know, even if it's only for a second. I try to make my rounds when I can and call my, un my uncles and aunties, all the elders and stuff like that. I done lost a lot of people here. My step pops just passed. You know, his funeral tomorrow. You know, just lost my uncle, my uncle Ray, the one who showed me how to work on these cars and showed me how to build stuff and change oil, brakes, motors, transmissions. Uh, got me into a Votec and how to work on cars, landed me a job at a dealership. I went from working on cars to selling cars. So rest in peace, Uncle Ray. I love you. I appreciate everything you've done for me. And this is how I'm getting to the money, you know. So show somebody a skill or a trade. Show somebody how, whatever you know how to do, show it to somebody else, man. Don't be stingy, man. Because, you know, that person might really need it. And they, they might love it. You know, they might be great at it. And it's a way for them to feed their family, man. But uh, the elders out here that we have left is very few. So y'all need to sit down and talk to them and, and see, see what it is, man. Because the generation we in now, we in, we in the information age, but we don't really have no good information to share. You know, everything is... All these different shows where everybody arguing and bickering and start turning their back on people and backstabbing people, man. We don't need to see none of that, man. We got enough negativity in the world. Let's get some positivity going on. Let's show these kids how to do something with their hands, skilled trade, how to work on something, how to build something. You know, that's what it's about, man. Even so, like, that's almost a lost art now. Like, almost every lady could sew and, you know, uh, uh, type and do different things and stuff. Nah, nah, it's very few that, that, that do it. So I'm trying to learn that skill myself. Check these out. footage today yeah man but stay on it man you know I am I'm gonna do what I gotta do I down there cutting up he ain't even got no hood on this car he can't wait to show that engine off the air royce been hot around here pulling people over a couple of them people that act stupid in them charges I just saw one dude Get hooked and booked. Hope you make it out. Hope you got some bail money, man. Y'all be careful out here. If you in the D, be careful. They out here riding. The people getting their shit towed. It's a lot, a lot going on for this warm day. It's, and it really ain't even warm. Shit, you see, I'm still out here in the hoodie. But as soon as the weather break a little bit here, people get to acting foolish. Acting crazy, talking on the phone, want to drink, want to smoke, want to have the music up, want to be doing too much, talking to the person in the back seat, just, just, just doing too much. So watch what y'all do around these youngins because they're going to try to do it, but they don't have that driving experience. Just saw somebody recently run one of them uh, 
fast Durant goes into a church. And the girl got burned alive. The driver died instantly. So y'all be y'all be safe out here with these uh, fast cars, man. They're making these Hellcats and these Challengers and Chargers and stuff. But these kids don't know how to handle that power. So if you got one of them cars and your son or daughter, your niece trying to get it, make sure they're responsible. Or just don't give it to them at all. They got to ride with you for a minute or something. Because they're getting behind the wheel of these cars and these cars is too fast. And half of them don't have their brake system and stuff right on it. They don't have they uh they don't have their tires and stuff right because they done burned all the tires up. So they'll come around the corner and, and been in lost control or something. So just make sure y'all tell these kids to slow down if they're gonna be driving y'all cars, cause y'all the only way that they can get it. Unless they out here balling and getting to it, they got them a, a, a good hustle, a good job where they can afford it themselves then. They tear it up, that's on them. But remember, you gotta pay that bill. So they tear your shit up. That's your car gone. <laughs> and your way, your way to work and your nice cars go out of there. Letting these little kids do it, man. I done seen it happen too many times. So I just wanna spread that word. Be safe. Welcome to the Dollar Show. Somebody please show me where the money at, man. Each one, teach one, take care of each other. I'm out.